the Dublin Coast in Hurdle is next, and this is a listed race over three miles, and the top one is War Leadership for Leon Van Rensburg, Crusader King for Paul O'Neill, Darrow, Darren Thompson, Full Court Press, Joshua Sutherland, Hemsworth for Hems, Tigris of Gore for Joshua Sutherland, Yeomanry Implication for Hems, Beachdale Lola for James Shea, Final Flutter for John Morgan, Grandma's Calapa for Martin Leedham, Honey Honey for Graham Crutzbock, and Triven Run for Ryan Costello, 12 of the men. Called in and away with a final flutter. That's in that one in post in the lead. Pulling for his head. And we'll be hoping for a better fate than John's horse in the last race. He fell when going really well. They're all safely over the first. And it's final flutter who leads by about three. They've got 12 flights to take in this. They've already taken one. So that means they've got 11 more to, do, to go. And final flutter is the leader by about three to Honey Honey second. Beachdale Loader on the inside is third, and War Leadership fourth, and Tigris of Gore on the outside is fifth. And of just two greys in this race is Triven Run. The other one right on the outside is Grandma's Calapa. And we'll be hoping to do a bit better than she's done in the first two weeks. She's running chase races and fallen, so maybe make a better hurdle. But it's final flutter in the lead. And they've got three lengths, they're already quite well strung out. And Beachdale Loader is second, Honey Honey is third. And War Leadership on the outside of Triven Run. And Tigris of Gaul is on the outside of Crusader King. And Yeomanry yeah, Yeoman Implication is on the inside of Darrow. And with Full Court Press. Also close up as they take the third. And all over that one nicely. Hemsworth is just the back marker. They're really well strung out. And the back three are not in shot. That's how strong out they are. Still got well over two miles to go. And final flutter is set in a strong pace. Clears that one in front. With Honey Honey just gone second. Ahead of Beachdale Lola. Gap of a length or so then to War Leadership. Who's in fourth. Another similar size gap. Back to the first of the Joshua Sutherland horses. That's Tigris of Gore. Darrow is behind that one. And Triven Run, the grey head, just poking into shot. We're on the outside of that one. Yeoman Reimplication. We can't see the rest of them. You can tell from the graphic that Grandma's Calapa is a back marker as they take the fifth. And over that one, Triven Run was a bit untidy. We'll just about see the back markers now as we get for a long range shot. And the final flutter is in the lead. A good two and a half, three lengths to Honey Honey second. Beachdown Loader is third and War Leadership is fourth. And there's a gap of a few lengths to Tigris of Gaul and Darrow. And Yeomanry Implication and Crusader King. And then another little gap back to the back four. Full Court Press, Hemsworth, Triven Run and finally Grandma's Calapa. So the two greys have dropped to the back. As they take the sixth, and that's the midway point in the jump in. And now they come up to the mile and a half mark and that's the midway point in the racing as well so final footer then takes them past the winning post they're going to come round again and final footer will hope to be there next time round as well honey honey is getting closer in second then beach down loader is third and wall leadership four as they take the seventh and over that one they all go and they're all still on their feet one or two of them are going to have to sprout wings to win from there the lead has gone off too quick. Final flutter in the lead then. Three more hurdle this, remember. And final flutter. Been in the lead all the way. Not being challenged yet, but honey honey. Looks like it might be the first one so to do. Well, that good jump there by Beachdale Lola. Seeing that one getting closer up the inside. As the field begin to bunch just a little bit. Triven run and grandma's colour look a little bit one paced at this stage. Also, Crusader King is dropping out a little bit but it's still final flutter from Honey Honey and Beachdale Lola then War Leadership Tigris of Gordon Darrow after that one Yeomanry Implication of Full Court Press and then Hemsworth and Crusader King and finally the two greys Grandma's Calapa and Triven Run as they take the ninth and the leader got over it well but Honey Honey is now beginning to challenge on the outside Beachdale Lola back in third War Leadership and Tigris of Gore next in Darrow Still a wide open race with six furlongs to race, and this next flight is going to be the third from home. And final flutter being driven into it. Regains a two-minute lead. 
Skips over it nicely. Good jump there by Beachdale Lola. Also Tigris of Gaul making significant progress now on the outside as the race begins to hot up. Final Flutter still the leader. Beachdale Lola on the inside of Honey Honey on the outside. Of that one is Tigris of Gaul also coming through there now is Full Court Press and also Yeomanry Implication the one that's looking for room is War Leadership trying to run on from the back is Darrow and Hemsworth but it's still Final Flutter in the lead from Yeomanry Implication and Full Court Press they race down towards the final two flights then Final Flutter in the lead gets over it nicely but a little slow Yeomanry Implication now comes to challenge and takes it up it's Yeomanry Implication but Final Flutter fights back then come the Sutherland pair in third and fourth but it's Yeomanry Implication racing down towards the final flight and the final two furlongs. And it's Yeomanry Implication in the lead from Final Flutter in second. Full Court Press is third. Tigris of Gaul fourth. Honey Honey's beaten. War Leadership hasn't got going yet. It's Yeomanry Implication racing towards this final flight. Little more than a furlong to go. Yeomanry Implication. Final Flutter finally looks beaten. It's Yeomanry Implication in the lead from Full Court Press in second. They take the final flight. Good jump by Yeomanry Implication. Gets away from it well. Full Court Press is trying to challenge. But it's Yeomanry Implication still in the lead. Full Court Press is getting closer with every trouble he's not going to get the Yeomanry Implication takes it full court press his second then final flutter and honey honey the field will trail back to the two rays Grand Mars Calapa and Triven run and final flutter then all the way until the final couple of furlongs and Yeomanry Implication just swooped into the lead and took it pretty impressively Finished strong out Yeomanry Implication, the winner for Hems. Full court press for Joshua Sutherland, second. Final flutter for John Morgan was third. Honey Honey for Graham Clutterbuck, fourth. And Beach Down Lola for James Shea was fifth.